Chicago this Labor Day weekend. They were known in Brazil as the heavy metal kings and now they're in the U.S. They've achieved a lot of success here because of their innovative, creative, experimental style. Thankfully, we have with us today Max Cavalera. Hello. Hi. Hi. How you doing? Here he is from Soulfly. We're so excited to have you in Chicago. How's it, how's it going here in Chicago? Pretty good. we just been here for a couple hours, but we got um, our drummer is from here, Joe Nunes, and he already actually bought the kids uh, pizza from Chicago. Oh, yeah, Chicago pizza. You can't beat that, huh? Well, that's cool, you know. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited. This tour is going really great. Um, the shows are really packed, and uh, there's four bands. It's like an event, you know. It's hours of uh, heavy music. Um, Soulfly, of course, we bring a lot of uh, different elements to it. Uh, a lot of uh, heavy stuff, um, fast stuff, but also uh, percussion, tribal elements, Brazilian music, world music. It's definitely different, you know. It's been really good. Tell me about Prophecy. Prophecy has been out since March now. Um, it started really cool, like we went to South Africa. Just, wow, I didn't even know that. That's, uh, that's how it started. First time for me too. After 15 years playing music, I finally play in Africa. It was uh, one of the few places I haven't been of major, you know, places like that. We started a tour there and we carry on to Europe. We did festivals with a lot of cool bands that we love, like Judas Priest, Metallica, a um, bunch of bands, uh, Machine Head, um, El Nino, they were there too. Um, and then we came to America, started this tour in the U.S. and it's been like a month now. Let's, let's go for another month. We go to Puerto Rico, Mexico, South America. Let me take a break and let's start again next year. Tell me about Song Remains Insane. That's the DVD that's coming out. We're all excited. Um, yeah. Anything you want to tell us that we don't know? It's been, everybody's been asking for DVDs for a long time. We never put one out. Um, I always thought it would be better to wait until there's more uh, material and more stuff. I think it's going to be really cool. It has all elements, serious stuff in the studio, how we record, but it also got fun stuff like in South Africa, our roadies had a camera out. We were attacked by um, rhinoceros and Oh uh, gosh. Plants, you know. <laughs> Do you have that on video? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I want to clip of that for Exo Zay. That's going to be on the video. But you made it alive, huh? Yeah. I'm still here. One of our roadies is the craziest one. Any scars? I see you got tattoos. You got any scars from there? Uh, no, nah, it was just, it was like a game reserve place, but like the minute we got there, one of our craziest crew, Leo, uh, he's look at this nasty bug like this big, I don't even know what it is. He grabs and eats it. Uh oh, is he, is he auditioning for Survivor, this guy? No, I, he'll beat those guys up. He's crazier than anybody, but that's going to be on it and that's cool. Um, great festivals from Europe when you see 40, 50,000 people jumping up and down, like it's amazing. It's really cool. I think a lot of U.S. kids would be surprised when they see that. Just to see the dimension the Soulfly hits. That's not just, um, you know, what they see here. It's one thing what goes abroad. Sometimes it's, it's quite different, you know. But So it's going to be a cool DVD. Yeah, we're all excited about that. Now, I know you guys work with Dave Elfson from Megadeth, the former bassist. Tell me, what was it like working with him? Uh, it was very cool. I know Dave since the Rock and Rio one we did together. Um, I seen him in, in shows. The uh, We did the Ozfest, Megadeth, Soulfly, Limp Bizkit. Uh, that was 2000, I think. I, I can't remember. It's been so you many. You can't remember Ozfest, huh? <laughs> yeah, I've done four of those or something. That's so. excellent. It's great. I love that show. Uh, I just interviewed Fear Factory, who was with them a few years ago, and I'm going to be doing Every Time I Die, who just did, you know was with them this year. So it's definitely a great event to be a part of. Yeah, it is. I love Ozzy. I love his family. They're great people. Um, and I met Dave through those times. And he lives in Phoenix, Arizona. That's where I live. So we just got together, you know. Um, I call him up and say, I'm in the studio. I, I was aware that, that he was not in Megadeth. And invite him, come down and play some bass if you want. Very, um, very kind of like uh, casual, just like whatever, you know. And he ended up playing four songs, which is great. And uh, I really, uh, I really liked the, him a lot. He came down on the Phoenix show about a month ago, live and played some songs. The kids went crazy, so that was good. Let me ask you this: I know you've collaborated with a lot of people with bass. Now, if he's considered Dave from Megadeth, is considered old school. 
How would you feel about when you mix old school with new school? Do you think there's something going on there when you mix those two elements? You know, go see Queen and go see... Uh... Really excited to have met Max Cavalera of Soulfly. Stay tuned for more of this on Expose. Hi, I'm Susan Russell of Expose. Hi, I'm Susan.